So today is the PowerPoint out of the book. Today is second. Okay, slide three, thumbnail, press home control, click slide four. Side, press hold shift and scroll down to nine. Click and delete these. Okay, so this will be slide one. Title. Subtitle for Fox Holder. Caplock certified.
I'm going to link to that one because it does go somewhere. I don't know if they'll check it. If they have WW Energy Saver and they misspelt it. So, anyway. Slide 2, click the Home tab. Select this one, go back to Home tab. And then I like the whole of this. And now I'm going to go to Paragraph Group. Down here, one here. Or Smart Art Options. List. Just right click List, Group, Box. Box list graphic. Okay. So now I've got group box. So count as your shape boxes for your final two. Display slide three. To text, all this boxes two, last three. Slide three, click the text pane button. So this slide three, smart art select. Slide three, smart art select. This is smart art. Make sure you're on the edge of it. Now I'll click the text pane button. Okay. Some button, you have your fill. Select the text in the first appliance, second level. Right here. Okay, and then the second board down arrow, so if I go down, select this one, and ask about dates. So we'll place our text from that, and then down here, I want to highlight this, and this one's going to be seal weeks. button. Check all my spelling with those curves I have done. Curve. Oh, show in winter. So click the close button, click the blank area inside the smart art for just do select the lighting shapes. Display the home tab. Select all to select all six shapes. This. Home tab, select button, display the sub menu. Home tab, select button. Select all. That one I'll select it. The bold button. Says one or both, you select the shape. Slide three still selected, display the smart art tools design. The more button. Layout groups. No, um, the more button over here, layout groups. And then more layout. Here. Layout. Click OK. 
They don't have in winter in there's in the book. I'm at night. I won't read my in winter. Let's go back and look at the very way it started. Or the first start of this. So the doors, that doors, closed curtains at night. They don't have winter in here, so I don't know why. I'm gonna take in winter out of my so that's the way they show theirs and they put them in the final. Anyway. Okay, now this. I like this. Type tips to save energy. Okay, I still have to insert a new slide. So with this slide, then insert a new slide with title and content layout. Insert title and content layout. The new slide four selected, click the new slide arrow button. So I have a blue. I want a duplicate selected slide. So now I have a slide five. Now I insert smart art. I go back to slide four and click insert smart art graphic. Because I show this big choose a smart art graphic display for and then click the insert a smart art graphic. So insert a smart art graphic. Smart art graphic. Insert the smart art graphics right there. Move this box like this up and I come down here to process. And the desired one is the arrow. You can not see. Oh, there it is. You have to scroll down a ways. So it's this one. Scroll down, use the upward arrow, and click OK. Focus that image. And smart art that I was to insert upward arrow, smart art that I will. And click the left place over this insertion point. There. Pricing. Okay, pricing. The second one over here. Click it. This will be peak. And savings. And then the third one is kind of hard to see there. Central. Blank area inside the smart art. Smart art graphics still selected. Click the smart art styles more button. So here's smart art styles more button. Okay, and then the one they want to pick is this one. Powder style. Make sure that's powder style. Yep, powder style. Okay, display site five. Two blanks. I want to change this layout to a blank slide. So change the layout to a blank slide and then click the shapes more button. Shapes. Insert. Shapes. And I want to come in basic oval traps and click the shapes more button drawing group and just go to the shapes gallery. Click the oval shape. Okay. And then click that until just put a crosshair near the center of the slide. Click slide and insert the middle. Just click in the center. Click once. So the shape goes again. Trap is the weight. So I come up here to shapes. Now I want the trapezoid. This one. 
and click over here. And then one more time, insert shape button, and then down underneath in these arrow buttons, we want the fourth one in this down arrow, and it's over here. Okay, so we're going to select the trapezoid, and we have to hold down the shift when we drag to the lower right corner, release view size shape, press shift, it'll keep the focus. Bigger, select the oval, press the shift. And size the shown, and then finally we grab this, select the arrow shape, the shape height arrow box here. I guess I'll just like three, and we have thirteen. Five. So I clear across my screen. Okay. Okay, the oval here is going to be four inches. Here's the height and width of four. So I take four and four. Uh -huh. And then on the trapezoid over here, it's going to be height. Four with a three. Okay, four and three. Select all the slide contents with the home tab and then click select the button. Home tab. And then the select. Let's see if we show. Select all. So all three shapes are selected. The home tab is still displaying. Click the quick styles button. So that's a deal. Quick styles button. And we want to pick this one here, which is color field, light blue, accent one, home button real, quick self out move, quick self shape. And come down, desired style shape is gradient light blue, so I need to come under presets. And here, color light blue, accent one, no outline. Click light blue, accent one, no outline. So I click that because it doesn't look right. Color field light blue accent on the outline. That's what I love. So I can create different ones. So click the gradient field light blue X I know I'm press out and then click the blank area of the slide deselect all three objects. Okay, select the trapezoid shape. And click the copy button. And then click the paste button. Two level. Drag the new tap show to the left side of the slide. Left tap so ship selected type remember should be preferred. Now with this selector, I hold down the shift key, select this one. Go to the left trapezoid shape, and that's necessary. Just move the home tab, and then I want to do this one. So I hold down the shift key, 
in all the ultimate form is on is black. So click the text return to add a shadow to the text. Okay, font color arrow. So I'm going to change it to dark blue. So I've got font arrow, night color, standard colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be dark blue. Increase font to 20. Let's let this go up to 20. Okay, click the arrow shape to select it. So I select this arrow shape, make sure I'll have the arrow shape selected. And then click the shape styles group. Deselected. Okay, now we got position. So, so this is a Okay, go to view, want guides, turn on. The lure is already, so you want to check this and it's off. Turn that on. Okay, let's just click the guidelines checkbox. So make sure the guidelines on. Okay. And now transition shape. Point around the horizontal guide in the blank area. The furniture is straight double headed arrow and drag the horizontal guide to three inches below the center. Okay, in this blank area. So, position pointer on the horizontal guide in a blank area that slices up the No, do not have to print this project. Okay, to get this horizontal guide, there has to be this line and this line. So when I come down here and I click on this line, you get this double-headed arrow, and I'm just dragging this down to the number three. Then I have to come up here, and you'll see I already clicked this one to check it out. But I go over here and click on this center line and bring this over here. I'm dragging that over to the five right up here. So I have the five line coming down and a three line coming across all the way. So then I just drag the trapezoid to the lower left corner to touch it. So when I click on this trapezoid, bring it down here. I'm just putting it right down here. I could do it without the guides. Okay, and then drag the vertical guide to 2.0. So I guess I'm going to come over and get another one. And I'll bring this one. I'm going to drag it to 2.0. So once again, I gotta get on the center line. Try to get a double headed arrow to come up. I have to go over and take this one and drag it over to 2.0. Okay, drag that over 2.0 to the center shape and the vertical guide up to 2.0. So I've got it down here. So we set it there. Traps like oval right to display the drawing tool. Okay, so we drag the vertical guide 2.0 from the left position. So, well done. Shows. I don't know where the heck this is going to go because this isn't going to fit because it shows this one here in the corner. It shows it on the same line as this one. So now it's going to be in the corner there. The circle. Right in the center there. So it fits in the boxes. 
I'm not I'm not down on this line, so you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to get right on the line. So with this line across here, these still line up, and this one dead center. Uh, how picky this is. So now what I'm gonna do is select the right trapezoid drawing tool, so I select all of these. So I'm using the shift key, select all three of these, and then select the left trapezoid will go on right trapezoid just by the drawing tool. So I have the lines of really no matter where I put these because if I line to slide, so I need the format tab and then a line to slide. So line to slide. And they were already aligned. They should have jumped in display the line, line to slide command. And now click the line to slide so the PowerPoint adjusts the spacing of the pictures evenly. Now click distribute horizontally. Distribute horizontally. We kicked them out. Okay. The three shapes still selected. A line, middle. So make sure when you do this line middle, we do the right one. This line middle here. That moved them up. Okay. Now drag horizontal guide to three inches above center. So I come down here and grab my horizontal guide. So we got to find this horizontal guide again, wherever the heck I left it. It's down here a little stronger. And I'm going to click this and three inches above center. Okay. And the vertical guide, where I left it right here, I'm going to drive it to 6.6 .6 inches. 6 inches left of center. We're out here 6.6 .6 inches is right on the edge. I'm not sure why I did that, but corner insert fill, select the shape arrow, then drag it upward so the upper corner touches the intersection of the vertical horizontal gap. So now I'm going to click this and I'm going to move this so the corner, you can't see it till you let go. I'm using my arrow keys because where they want me to put this is right here and then over here on the edge so it goes across like that because so I just use my arrow keys to position that anyway with that if necessary do the drawing tools format tab thing and then I go to format rotate and flip vertical okay flipped it horizontally now we need to send it back so we got Pull this down and send to back because it's behind all the lines. So we sent that to back. Now to group objects, I gotta select everything. So I select all these. So we do that. Come up here. Go over to the select all. So it selects everything on this page. Click the drawing tools tab. Group. So I need two groups. Then I want to click the drawing tools format tab and click group. Drawing tools format tab under the range group. Okay, group all them together. So now we have them. Okay, so we've got them grouped. Now it says with the drawing tools format, click the symbol more button down there on drawing tools insert shape to display. So additional shape, insert three shapes at the bottom of the slide. So we gotta go here to insert shapes. Shapes, pull this down, and select moon, banner, and sun shapes. So, what to insert? What drawing tools have to insert three shapes. So, the moon shape, temp shape, and third basic shapes. I come down here and find basic shapes, and that's the temp that said temp shape. Basic shapes, moon shape. So I want the more fingers to display this. Click the moon shape in the third row. So star, sun, moon shape. So I click that one. And it doesn't matter where I put it, so I'll just click down here. And now I go to insert shapes. And then the next one I want to insert is the punch tape. So Force shape and the flow chart. So find flow chart. So it's this 
Oops, sorry, let's tape that down there. And then click the sun shape. I saw the sun shape. So I go to insert, back to the shapes, and the sun shape was up here where we needed. And then I want the sun shape. Put that down here. Okay. Now select the three new shapes. So I'm holding down the control key. I've got the star and the sun, so I have the three shapes selected. So select like the three new shapes, click the shape style, somewhere button down there on drawing tools, and then play light one outline. I was supposed to move these, but I will do this here in a little bit. So anyway, select the three new shapes and then apply. So I come up here to format and I want to apply light one outline color green accent two shape. Theme styles. Let's see if it's in here. It says it should be third style and third theme. I think that's something here. Yeah, third style. So it says that it is third style in the third row. So it should be like this one. Light one out, light one fill. So green accent two. Okay, green accent two. So that's the one I want. Okay. Now resize the moon. So now I'm click off this and start with the moon. Resize it 1.5 and 0 0.08. Okay. Size the banner, so now I want this is going to be 1.5, and the width of this is going to be 6.5. Okay, and then the star, the star, and you tell me to resize the star, so swirl my light one deal. Force the size of the moon, and I saw the sun should be 1.5. I missed that. 1.5 by 1.5. Okay, now I gotta start lining them. So, this one here, let's start with the banner. First, the banner. So, if necessary, select the moon, then click bring forward button. So, select the moon. Format bring forward button. And then when I move this banner over here, I want the moon in front of it. And the banner is going to go over here, right down here on the bottom of this. It shows a line there. So when I do this, the easiest way to do this is with your arrow keys. You want me to line that right over here, right on the two inch. So it says align the banner. So align the banner so the left edge is three inches from left center. So I need to get right on this three inch line. And, and the lower edge is 3.5. The lower edge is 3.5. So that's right here. And if I wanted to bring this down, I can bring it up. What's that? Uh, how far above? Hang on. Then I click on this shape, bring it up over here. It's right along the edge here. And snap right in there. Once again, it's almost user deal. And then the moon shape goes over here. So it tells me to make sure to line the moon shape. So line the sun, left edge is two inches right of center. So the left edge is two inches. So I need to move this over so it's on the two. So I'm using the arrow keys to set that right on the two inch. Okay. And then the moon shape.
So the right edge should be two inches. So I need to take this over so that right edge is right on this two inch line. There's a right edge right on that two inch line. And I think it comes right down to the bottom of this, so it might need to go down just a hair bit. So it's right down here at the 3.5, so that looks good to me. Now I need to select all three of these, so I down the shift key, make sure I get all three of them selected. And now with the drawing tools format, click the merge shapes. So drawing tools format, click the merge shapes. And it's in the drawing tools format tab. Drawing tools format tab. So along here. And they show root shapes right at the end, right here. Now I come down to combine all three of them shapes. And I cut a hole in them. And I type a smart cart thermostat. So I'm just going to start typing smart capital S, smart, remote stat, the banner, then press enter, and works night, night, and day, capital is D and day, increase the font to 24, so I need to select these. The home and take these up to 24. Okay. You tab grid lines to grid. Click the guides to clear the check marks. But they showed theirs. I guess that's really fine. That's the way theirs looks like on theirs. Okay. Now, it tells me to go to the view tab and check the guides. Checkbox, turn that off. And check the guide box. Display the view tab and the ruler checkbox to turn the ruler off. Okay, display side four. And so we have it. Okay, close side five four. Insert star seven point sheet. In the stars and banners row. So I'll go here to insert shapes. And I want under the six shape and first stars and banners. So I go ahead and stars and banners. I want the six shape. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that would be the star seven points. They show up over here. Then come up here and make this three inches by three. Okay, it up there, three inches, and then use the smart guides to, to position the shape as shown. So I guess just as far as I do the smart guides, I got one that pops through the center, move it down until I get one down to the bottom. He shows a red line at the bottom, so I'm going to move it there. I got a red line at the bottom, and I need a red line at the center. So a red line at the bottom of it, red line right through the center of it, let it go. Now, with the drawing tools format shape fill, so you go up here to shape fill, and then picture. So, with this selected, I'm going to do picture, and then I'm going to go from file, go to key drive, CS110 data files, go to PowerPoint, module 2, and I'm looking for support computing bulb. So this one. Okay, that puts the ball in. Well, star tape still selected. Shape outline arrow. This still selected. I'm going to shape outline arrow. Point to the weight. And I am going down to 6 point very bottom. Big blue line around there. Now the color. So with this outline color, shape outline, I'm going to come down to colors and click the green. Oh, it's straight green, so let's green around. Yeah, the shape's still selected. Display the shape outline gallery can. Okay, shape outline gallery can. Come down to dashes. And I want to pick the second row. Let's put 
dots around it with the shape, but still selected format shape to the glow, the shape effects, down to glow, and the shape I want is this one, 18.3 accent color 2. Okay. So I still selected, click the rotate button. And we want to go to more rotations. And negative 15 in the rotation. So click here and type negative 15. I hit my enter degree. Click the close button. So I click the close button. Yeah, final with answer slide forward, following answers uh, type manage your energy. That's in the title up here. Okay, display so slide one. And then insert the rectangle top for shape and rectangles push them. So to insert and the rectangle top corner snapped. Insert shapes. And now I've got four shape in the rectangles. So it's not rectangles. It's one. Of course, snap. And over here, go to size. That's 2.2. 2.2. Enter. Okay, so that puts it over there. Fill the rectangle with a picture. It's just the same way we put the picture in in before. So once we again we have to go to shape fill. We have to go to picture and file. We should write in the same file and this time we want the um, house. Insert. So it's the house. Ooh, it was we need to rotate. So I need to rotate left. Rotate left 90 degrees. Puts it up. Add a three point outline to the rectangle. So I'm going to just outline, paint, three point. And change it to square dots. So come down here. I want square dot. Okay, and add a glow. So I go to shape effects glow and want a level point. Bring in accent color two. And then display the ruler guides. The rectangles in the bottom right corner is the six point also go to view ruler. I want to move this around. I'm seeing the lines on my nail and I want the intersection right, right center. Six point. Right. You know what? This needs to be rotate the round because he's showing the edges over here. I'm going to go to format. I need to go to rotate. Format, rotate. I need to flip that. Over this way. There we go. That's why I wasn't getting the lines because I need the line tells me to do this. And then six right of center and three inches below center. So move this around. It's supposed to be at this spot. Line up there. Just move Approximately about right there. Okay, got position right place. Go back here, hide the ruler again. Put that in there. Now we're going to go to insert tab. Come down to header footer. Bring this up. I want to make sure there's some slides and a note. So we're on slides up. And we want to display the insert necessary. Make sure we're on the slide tab. Date and time, and then date and fixed box. So go here, go 
October 1st. Title slide is checked. Click all. Okay. Yeah. Quick transition tab on the rail. So we need to go up here. One or two transitions. Okay. And then we want to make sure that we do the more button. So we have presently fade selected, and we want to click the box. Okay. Box preview of this is apply this direction to the title slide. So I don't want to check apply all. Now click the effects button. Effects options. Top. So it comes down from the top. Okay, then duration. Duration we want to be from 1.23 seconds. Just put a 3 there. Okay, and then you can hit preview to see what it looks like. If you want to see what this looks like coming in, we'll come a lot slower. And now, now click apply to all. So we'll apply this now to all. Make sure it's all. Now we save this. And that's it. So I close this, come back into my class. This is the text project. Start, upload, go to K, Girls and Amazon. It should be date modified to today. That one, Smith. View my report. And here, open the report. Come down here. Wow! Save money and increase comfort. So I should have bolded that. I should have been bold. So I need to do that. Okay. Deal energy, so I need to do my link. So that one on sale on slide three target list smart arch contain. There's a night and a winter. <laughs> so I took that night and winter out, and then I really messed up my trapezoid shapes. <laughs>